Hey everybody, welcome to Ocalo Garage. So uh, today I think I'm gonna work on some brake lines. I, uh, I went ahead and did my first ever uh, braided steel brake line. This is, um, I think it's PTFE. So it's got like this little plastic core in there. And so I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and make another one and I'll take you through how I made uh, this hose. Um, I don't guarantee my work. I've never done this other than just this one time. Uh, so we'll see how the second time goes. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to look at maybe trying to um, bend up the uh, um, fuel line and the return and get those um, uh, mounted, or at least bent to ready to be mounted. So let me uh, kind of take you off the tripod here and I'll show you a little bit about what I'm going to try and do and see how it works. All right, so here's the... Uh, um, this is going to be the main uh, fuel line, and this is the return line, and these are both 6AN uh, fittings. So the, the first steel hose that I made is going to go from here, and I've gone ahead and mounted my fuel filter here. Uh, so then I've got this little dude, I can't remember what size this is, but this uh, switches me from the 6AN to uh, whatever size this is in here. And again, I can't remember. Um, so the main fuel line is going to come out, and I'm going to 90 degree bend it, and then it's going to come down through the transmission tunnel and up along the front and come out of the firewall. Um, I think I got to figure out. I think what I'm going to do, and then of course, let me back up. Then the return line is just going to come back, and then I'm going to have the return line come back kind of next to it, 90 degree, and then I'm going to um, attach it kind of here, and then I'll use the braided steel to come from there uh, over here, the flexible line. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do there. Take you around the front. And so I think what I'm going to do is a lot of guys build a, a panel for this. I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. Um, but either way, I'm going to have the fuel lines come under this, this, mem this cross member here. They're going to come out and probably end just beyond so I can mount them underneath here. And then I'm going to have uh, my pressure regulator probably mounted here, but I've got to think about that a little bit. Either way, it's going to be braided steel lines to uh, up to the pressure regulator. So even if they kind of stop here, um, should be good. At least that's what I think I'm going to do. So I got to take a look at my engine because I believe the fuel comes in on on the driver's side of the engine uh, into the EFI, the Holly Sniper EFI. So, and then let me bring you over. So this is my uh, stainless steel line and then I've straightened out a thinner piece of wire that's a little bit easier to bend. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can bend that in all the bends I need ahead of time. And I'll use that as a template to bend up this uh, stainless steel line here. Um, so we'll go with that and then I'll show you the flaring tool and how to work that. Hopefully that will all be in this video. Uh, that seems kind of simple, but all of it takes a bit of time. I'm not going to film, you know, trying to figure out how to route the, you know, line and, and get the bends in. Um, just telling you that's how I'm doing it. And then probably after I'm done bending the stainless steel fuel line, I'll show you it bent, maybe. Uh, but you don't really, really need to see me bending it. Um, but what I am going to do is I will show you how I make the uh, braided line and put the ends on that. So maybe I'll just kind of do that first um, because that's sort of an ish measurement. Um, you know, that's kind of the, the benefit of this because it doesn't have to be an exact length, just pretty close. Um, so I think I'll do that first and then we'll work on um, the hard lines. So stand by. All right, so I think this is all the parts I need, pieces and parts I need right now to make the length of hose that I'm gonna make. So I've gone ahead, just went over to the car and just sort of eyeballed a length. Uh, and then I went ahead and where I'm gonna cut, I wrapped it in uh, some electrical tape just to try and help keep these ends from fraying. So I've got this little dude here. I'm gonna use this to cut kind of as much in the center of that tape and as much right angled as I can. Right now I can put this off to the side, and here's my length of 
of hose. Now, if you notice when you cut it, it, uh, it definitely gets very off shapen or misshapen or whatever. So, that's why I have this little dude I bought. I think it came with a kit that I bought of for the stainless steel hose. And I just use that to kind of reround the, uh, the PTFE line. I want to try to make sure that's not cracked or broken or anything so I can get a good seal on it. All right, and then, so I need to let's see, straighten this out a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and this is the tricky part. <laughs> I'm going to undo this uh, electrical tape on here and I need to put these ends on and I'll show you that uh, in just a second once I get this unwound. Alright, so these unscrew um, and then for the PTFE you've got this little this little compression fitting, I don't know what it's called, but and then that and those go on the hose and then uh, it's the same uh, for the other, the other end. Right, so what we need to do is this here needs to go on the hose this way and this little compression fitting will fit between the braided steel but over the, uh, uh, the plastic core. So first thing to do is to get this on. But what I'm going to do is the other side too. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this one on the wrong way so that when it comes around the hose, it's the right way. Yes. Hopefully I'm not remembering this wrong and doing everything all screwy. So I'm just going to try to get that on. Sort of spinning it so I don't make too much of a mess. Then I'll get this one on here. Kind of, there we go. All right, now comes the part where you injure yourself. Because you need to sort of, at least for these fittings, you need to kind of flail out the braid some. I'm doing this without gloves on, which is really kind of dumb, because these things are super sharp. All right, so let's see, that's out like that. And then I'm going to take this guy and put it in between the steel line, steel braiding, and the PTFE hose. So let's kind of get that. I'm trying not to catch any of the steel braid. All right, and then you put that until it seats all the way down on the white. Now I've seen some people trim trim this and I've seen some people not. I'm gonna not, um, but those of you who are experts out there, let me know that I'm screwing up. All right, so I'll kind of push that down and then we can take this fitting and I've seen some people use a little bit of like WD-40 or something, um, but it goes in fairly well and you want to bottom that out in there and then we can bring this up and screw that on. Alright, so I'm going to get that started and tightened. Not completely tight yet and that's where these and this aluminum wrench come into play. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other side, do the same thing with the other side and then I'm going to meet you over at my bench vise. Alright, so these dudes have these neat little magnets in them and they just kind of stick to your vise, which is pretty awesome. Right, and then what we're going to do is open that up and then I'm going to put this in to this little clamp. And all this business is just to try and like stop from causing too much damage. Let me make sure this is out just a little bit. There we go. Too much damage. 
All right, so that's in there pretty secure. And let me go ahead and show you this from a different angle here real quick. All right, so I don't know how well this is gonna focus, but we're gonna basically, we're gonna tighten this down until it seats flat with the other end. So we're just gonna keep screwing this down until it bottoms out. So I'm really just gonna tighten this down until it bottoms out. All right, well, that's, uh, that's kind of the end of it. That uh, second hose is finished. I kind of doinked up my uh, aluminum on this side, so it's kind of scratched. Um, but, uh, you know, these are on pretty tight. Um, so I guess only time will tell. We'll see if they leak or not when uh, we actually get fuel flowing through them. That's kind of, as far as I know, the only real way to test it is put it into play. But these are high pressure PTFE stainless steel braided hoses, uh, 6AN, and then you have to get the right uh, fittings for the PTFE. So there are different types of stainless steel uh, high pressure fuel hoses. Uh, so now let's go on to trying to bend some fuel lines. All right, so here's all I've really done is I've done the first 90 degree bend that's gonna go from the fuel filter out and then down the tunnel. And I've left this pretty much straight and then cut it off a little bit longer than I need. And I think what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna go ahead and put a fitting on here and then flare this and actually screw it into the fuel filter and then kind of see where I am from there. All right, so this is probably gonna be a terrible cut because uh, the first half of this video, I was putting together the braided uh, 6AN braided lines and the second half, I was showing you all how to do some flares on, uh, on the stainless steel brake, or, uh, fuel lines. And uh, this is 3 8 inch stainless steel fuel lines and it's very hard uh, metal to, uh, to flare. Um, <clears throat> I was doing single single flares and then I kind of did more research and it looks like I needed to do double flares. Uh, so the stuff that I recorded I'm just going to nix and I'm going to show you what I do to do these double flares. Um, <clears throat> I use my little cutoff uh, thing to you know cut to length and then I will take my file and I file that flat nice and nice and flat so you know, there's no little burrs on the end. And then the next thing I'll do, if you can see, I can get this to focus, I don't know. So you can see these walls are a little bit thick. So I take a little, a drill bit that's bigger than the diameter of the stainless steel thing and I just kind of drill out a little bit. And, uh, and I put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And I drill this out a little bit to thin out the wall some. Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up any burrs. And if I need to, we'll do a little bit. And that's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. This one's kind of already, this one's already ready. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we'll go over to my flaring tool and uh, we'll pick it up from there. All right, so for stainless steel, you have to get the expensive flaring tool. Um, and I'm gonna do, like I said, this is gonna be a double flare. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do one and I'll show you the first stage and what it looks like. And I'll do the other one, um, both, you know, both flares. Right, so, and let me pop this off real quick. I'll try to show this uh, when I'm actually doing it. But you start out with position zero. When you're doing a double flare, you move to uh, position OP1 and then OP2 for the diameter uh, of tubing you've got. So if you're doing a double flare, you go one, two. If you're doing a single flare, you just go to two. So one of the tricks is, let's get this ready a little bit. Heat up the end of the stainless steel tube. This is what I've seen on the internet. Um, I'm gonna try it. I don't guarantee my work, 
But uh, we'll see what happens when uh, we get farther down the road and we get some actual fuel flowing through these lines. If I go ahead and get a nice, nice and red. Cut that off. All right, now to use this, this tool, snug that down just a little bit. And then OP0, let me move you guys over. See if we can zoom in some for you. All right, so OP0 gets everything to the right depth. All right, and then we tighten this down and I tighten it down pretty good. All right, let me flip this over to OP1 and I spray a little, little lubricant down there. And we give it a good press until it seals. Now I'm gonna take this out and I'll show you where it's at, what it looks like. So this is what the first flare looks like. All right, so it's just a bulbed out, and then when you do the second flare, it's gonna push that in to do a double wall. So, let's pick up there. I gotta start with a new tube, because, you know, can't get the second one back in place. All right, we move it to position two. A little bit more lubricant there, and then that should be it. Ooh, loosen this up, there we go. And there we have what is hopefully a perfect double flare. So it's the 37 degree double flare and you can see the inside is nicely folded over it's uniform all the way around and that is what you're looking for for a 37 degree double flare all right so uh, I don't know if I did a sign off earlier so I'm gonna do a sign off now uh, that is how I do my double flares um, this is kind of step one does this first bump out and then step two folds that over inside, and then you get a really nice 37 degree double flare, which will hopefully uh, not leak. We'll see, um, you know, in six or eight months when I finally uh, go to start this thing. Um, <clears throat> I think that's about it. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time.